It's the 7th of January and I'm in Lucknow and I've met up with Dhruv who was one of the Cape Farewell youth voyages in 2008 and it's brilliant to see him here and his family <laughs> and where we are it's SAVA which is a, a self-employed women's association, a cooperative. Um, Dhruv, maybe you could say something about the garments that they make here. Oh yes, um, basically SAVA is like an NGO which works to uh, sort of get women who are unemployed engaged into making and reviving the old art of uh, Lucknow chicken work, which is a sort of um, a thread work, which is hand weaven uh, and, and sort of worked by ladies to uh, sort of make a wide range of garments, which are on sale and I believe we've brought a few of them too. Dhruv, maybe you can tell me something about the Cape Farewell Voyage. What was it like? It was exciting, actually. K the Cape Travel Voyage was something which uh, always had something different uh, to offer. Um, and the best thing was that every instant where your vision used to be limited at that point, that was the point where something used to start from. And since you've been back, you've been busy, just like Shruti in mm. Chennai. Yes. You were telling me about all sorts of things that you've done, presenting to 30,000 people in your school. Is that yes. right? Yes, that is. Um, actually, apart from uh, the talk, uh, I've been giving rounds of presentations. What I'm really concerned is not about the quantitative aspect, as you talked about 20 to 30,000. I may get uh, and organize a sort of a function and get to talk to 50 people, maybe even a lakh. But that doesn't make the difference. What I'm really concerned is a qualitative approach towards the subject, which involves, even if I can get five people who can seriously work, and move towards that topic, that's, that's probably a bigger achievement than, than giving s such speeches to maybe 100 or 200. And you made an exhibition that you showed yes. in your school. Yes, I did. What I did is I booked the biggest rooms of the school <laughs> and I arranged an exhibition which was mainly concerned with the Cape Farewell expedition and our green team, as we had it, was the ones who were actually organizing the event. We showed st students movies out there which were concerned with the Cape Farewell and other documentaries by the Discovery and National Geographic channels. Apart from that, we had a set of uh, ideas and paintings and carvings which were made and contributed by the school students. So we had an uh, environmental audit done of our school that was displayed. And did it start a lot of conversation? It did, yes. Um, apart from that, it was always uh, very confusing for some people to grasp that whole idea. And many people are sort of very speculative about the issue. And many people in yeah, your generation. Yeah, many yeah. do, many do. Sometimes you feel like just giving them one on the head, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shruti said the same thing. <laughs> but, but no. Uh, but she did feel she was making yeah, a difference. And, she and was seeing change. Yes. Makes me look like some sort of superhero, but I'm not. <laughs> Climate <laughs> warrior. Climate warrior. What actually we need is good trainers. And good speakers, good, good, good politicians, good policy makers, and good people on the whole. People like you. People, people yes. like me, yes.